So we begin with Illustrator CS6. For those of us who are familiar, if you are familiar with CS5, we can see that looks very similar. The colors have changed that we see that Illustrator CS6 now has this black background. That doesn't make sense to you if you're new to Illustrator, welcome. This video will be an intro, an overview of the Illustrator workspace. Okay, so we begin in Illustrator and we can see that we have some different panels floating. So we come on up here to our menu bar um, and then we can see that this would be our work area, our artboard. So let's look at how do we go about creating a new file. So we come up to File, New, and we get our information here. Now, we can see that as we come on in that we can say the size, we can go letter, legal, or we can come on in and just set it ourselves. So let's say that I wanted this to be six inches by five inches. I could change the orientation, okay? Either way, you can see how those numbers, the width and the height split, and we hit okay, and we can see our size right in there. All right, so one more time, let's come on in one more time and look at some of this other, these other um, things that we're looking at. Again, we can give our name to our document. Um, we can come on into advanced here, and we can see that we can change the color mode. So we have CMYK and RGB. And what is the difference? Well, CMYK is what we work in usually when we're printing and RGB when we're getting something ready for the web or for an electronic device, that will be the color mode that will work in. All right, so one more thing to take a look at, we can change the number of artboards. So I could say, I want three artboards. Uh, here's my, I'm setting my spacing here. We can set how they look. Actually, let's even put in, let's put in four. And let's say that we want them to be gridded by row. And a lot of times in Illustrator, if you hover, you'll get a little word that tells you um, what it is that you're doing. So I'll hit OK. And I can see now I have these four different boards here together. So let's say that I was working on a set of cards or something where I wanted to see them all at one time. All right, so right now we're going to take a look at some of the major um, tools and uh, things within Illustrator that we'll really be focusing in on. So you can see too that I have three documents in here too, one, two, three. All right, so let's begin. The main, the main, one of the main things that you'll be working with will be your toolbar. Okay, so here we have your tools. Voila, here they are. We can if we hit that, we can expand them, we can make them long, might have just disappeared. So whenever something disappears, we can come on in to window and then we can find it. There's my tools. Okay, so let's take a look. And again, I kind of like it a little bit bigger. What you'll find a lot of times as you're working, your space will get smaller. All right, now all these different, in Illustrator and Photoshop, Pretty much all the Adobe software window is a major place on the menu bar where you'll go uh, because what you'll see here will be all of these different windows that float around that give us a lot of different um, editing possibilities. The possibilities are, are endless actually. Okay, <clears throat> so we can see that you know I can turn things on and turn things off. So here's the application frame. Okay, if I wanted that, you can see what things are. Okay, that's the control panel, the control panel. And let's take a look at the control panel uh, because what you're gonna find, let's say I come and I grab the shape tool and I just draw a shape. See what happens here? The control panel changes based on the tool that we have selected. So when I select the pencil, that one's similar. If I select the eraser, a lot of them are gonna be similar um, because sometimes they have similar, similar kinds of things with them. Um, but what you'll see again, as you select different things, this will change, okay? All right, another couple of um, you know things that we want. Well, let's just take a look at one more thing. Here, if we come on over to the right-hand side, um, underneath our, our menu, above our control panel, um, we're gonna see that we have the workspace, and this is set to essentials. And you pretty much you'll keep it at essentials, but if you wanted to, let's say that you were working strictly with typography. If you change this, this is the this is the workspace for typography. Now, you might find this easier 
All right, and what happens? Well, when you do that and we come on over right into this window, this it's like it's like the tool panel, um, you'll see that these are all of the windows, okay, because we can access all of these windows right through here, but they're right here and they're they're easy to um to get, right? Those are the, the main ones that you'll be working with when you work typography. But let's just keep this at essentials. So I'm going to change this to essentials. And when we work in essentials, what Illustrator does is right over in here, these are pretty much the main windows that you'll be working with. Now again, you don't need to, you can open them up however you want to. They're all over in window. All right, so here they are. Um, we have color, we have color guide. Um, we have swatches and we can just click. We could learn these little icons and very quickly we can come on over and we can select them very, very quickly. But let's say that there's another one that I want. Well, how do I open them up? Let's say that I look and I said to myself, hey, you know what? I want the type one also. Well, and as we come on into table, we'll see that there are a bunch of different things. Let's say I said, I want the paragraph styles. Okay, so here I have this one. All right, so we can open up other windows too. And um, so that's our first little intro to Illustrator CS6 um, and more to follow. Thanks for listening.